Dr. Rupali Shaikhe from Walchi Institute of Technology working as an Associate Professor in Electronics Department. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss with the Pulse Radar System. The learning outcomes of these sessions are, after completion of this session, students are able to draw and explain the Pulse Radar System, examine the different parts and working of each block which are used for in a Pulse Radar System. As we know that any radar system basically consists of the transmitter and the receiver part. A transmitter part transmits the electromagnetic waves which are transmitted towards the target and the reflected signal which are in the form of the receiver are received by the receiver and which are displayed on the radar display. Here in this case in a radar communication both transmitter and the receiver both are situated at the same position. Pulse radar system. In a pulse radar system uh, basically a transmitter part is consists of a trigger source, pulse modulator and output source which are connected with the duplexer to the antenna and the receiver part consists of the RF amplifier, mixer, local oscillator, IF amplifier, detector, video amplifier and the radar display. This is a uh, diagram which is showing the block diagram of the basic pulse radar system. Now let us see one by one the what are the blocks consist of and how the working of each block takes place. The first block is a trigger source. The function of the trigger source is to provide the impulse pulses, sawtooth waveforms for the pulse modulator. The pulse modulator consists of a two inputs. One is the sine signal, sine wave, where the sine waves are modulated the, by the pulses which are generated by the trigger sources. The, the pulse modulator gives the rectangular pulses which are modulated by the sine wave. Then the this uh, pulse waveforms acts as an input to the output tube. The uh, output tube it generally consists of an oscillator. If it is working for the high frequency, then with the high power, then it is using the magnetron. And if it is a low frequency or a low power sig uh, signals, then it is using a impact or a gun diode. Basically, this uh, magnetron, impact diode, these all are the microwave devices which are used as an oscillator. Now, if the output to acts as an amplifier, basically it is uh, using the castron tube or a TWT, which are also called as a microwave devices. The signals which are generated from the output tube are basically a uh, are in the range of frequency range 3.9 gigahertz to 8 gigahertz, which are working in a C band at a radar communication system. The output tube input is kept is fed to the duplexer. The uh, duplexer which is uh, gives the input to the antenna. The signals from the antennas are being transmitted into the free space. Now, the basic function of the duplexer is that it ex exactly it, it is consist of the uh, two tubes. Uh, it is a gas discharging tube, the it cons uh, tube and ATR tube. The basic function of the duplexer is to prevent the receiver while transmitting the high power. Uh, as the transmitter power is high compared to the receiver power. That's why the function of the duplexer is to prevent the receiver while transmitting the signal. The TRT2 is activated when it, when it is receiving the signal and ATR2 is activated when it is transmitting the signal. Now, the, uh, now let us recall what is superheterodyne principle. Uh, the here it is also using the radar uh, superheterodyne receiver. Before that, let us see what is a superheterodyne receiver principle. 
the principle of the superheterodyne is to convert the radio frequency signal into the intermediate frequency. The signals which are received by the antennas are the radio frequency signals and uh, first we have to convert them into the intermediate frequency which is known as a superheterodyne principle. Now the receiver part, the receiver, the received signals from the antenna are fed to the duplexer to the first block which is called as a RF amplifier. The function of the receiver is also to receive the proper signals which is uh, interrupted due to the noise, other interfacing signals and also due to the clustering. The received signals are in a form of echo signals or a reflected signals. The received signals are first uh, uh, which are in the band of the gigahertz frequency are received by the same antenna through the duplexer it has fed to the RF amplifier. The function of the, the RF amplifier consists of a low frequency which are in the range of 12 uh, 1, uh, 1 to 15 to 1400 megahertz if it is using uh, BJT for the uh, for amplifying of the signals for the high frequency it is using the gallium arsenide fed as an amplifier the output from the RF amplifier are first given to the mixer circuit the one more input to the mixer circuit is from the local oscillator the output of the mixer gives the radio frequency into the intermediate frequency which is fed to the intermediate amplifier here if amplifier which is a uh, cascaded tuned amplifier the basic uh, amplifier this amplifies the no, eliminate the noise and just provides the required bandwidth of the frequency and the frequency range uh, if it is a example for the air surveillance uh, radar system it, it is a frequency range for the 30 to 60 megahertz with 1 megahertz bandwidth uh, the basic function of the receiver the gain of the receiver is totally dependent on the IF amplifier so it provides the receiver gain the output of the IF amplifier is fed to the detector circuit the base, uh, the, for detecting the signals or to getting back the original signals, uh, the, we are using the ba socket, socketry barrier diode. The output of the diode is given to the uh, video amplifier which amplifies the signals and then it is fed to the radar display. Now this, the interconnections of all these devices are made to the, by the waveguides as the electro uh, signals are in the form of the gigahertz frequency the normal coaxial cab cables cannot be supported that's why all these devices are connected through the waveguides so the radar display is used to represent the signals which are received by the superheterodyne receive the uh, radar display may be a crt2 or a scope now this uh, a scope uh, device works on the deflection modulation and this only determines the range of the target it only provides the distance of the target from the location this uh, uh, a scope is represented in term like a x and y axis which are uh, old received power old versus the time the second uh, radar display can can be a PPI radar system, plane position indicator. The plane position indicators are used to represent the uh, works on the principle of intensity modulation, and they are used for determining the range as well as the azimuth angle of the target. The how this uh, is a diagram which shows the uh, this is totally on the intensity modulation and it is represented in a form of polar plot the radius represents the time duration of that which is nothing but a range and the intensity gives the angle for that the another uh, 
display system is the computer is directly a data is fed to the and then they are displayed by the different uh, to identify the range and the angle of the system this in a pulse radar system the signals which are being transmitted in a pulses are are uh, receive and the received pulses are being calculated and then they are fed to the radar display system uh, these are the few references through which i had collected the information uh, for this uh, presentation thank you